I guess in this video, I am going to discuss what how to connect CBase to Oracle SQL Developer. So add here this is connect to SAP Adaptive Server. So CBase. Now here this I am going to connect with the Oracle SQL Developer. So if I go on Tools tab and here Preference and here Database and here Third Party ZDBC. So there is no any third party ZDBC driver. So we need our ZDBC driver, okay. So first we need to download the ZDBC driver. So in Google write ZDBC driver for CBase. And here you get to source fork site. So uh, click this site. So this site has a good rating. Now here after JTDS. So this you can use with SQL Server and CBase. Click on download button. Now here you can see the file. Uh, so this is the file. Now here let's click OK. So file is now I think uh, download successfully. So this is the file ZTDS. Now here right click and here after extract all. So this is the location. So if you want then you can change the location. So this is going to extract on the C drive. Okay. C drive. So add here desktop. Now here let's uh, uh, give add here the name. So I'm going to create the directory on the desktop. Now here after the next is uh, so let's uh, uh, select once again so see this that I just created the directory select and here extract now here the file is extracted and here this is the executor sort file ZTDS now here going to cancel and here click on add entry and here in desktop that I just created one directory CBS select this and here this is the ZOR file you need to specify click on select and here ok now here after let's click on plus and here you can see oh, here SQL server and CBS it's come there so CBS connection name you can use anything so I'm going to test giving writing at here test CBS Username, so how do we know username? So here username SA at the time of installation of CBS you have a uh, specified username in SA and uh, you have to give uh, some strong password. So you should give username password. So giving at here SA and here giving the password. Now here after localhost it's uh, automatically taken port 5. So what is the local host? So at here Lenovo PC port it's ok. So giving at here hostname Lenovo minus PC 5000 ok. Now here after there is no any database click on retrieve database. So if all the information correct so add here it's all database it's a counter select any one database click on test or connect so add here test it's, it's come there now here after it's a DBO here you can see all the table so let's do add here select to this double click on this table or you can do the same thing here connect SAP here give the password and here server name now here you can use test connection so here it's so successfully click on connect now here our table it's a still retrieving so this all tables inside there export here you can export this table and here after let's go guest so
so this is at your system table cast this all on says and here you can see procedure store procedure system table tables and here you can see the views so this the way we can connect to or see with with oracle sql developer so i hope guys this video is helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next week thank you